In the process of rewinding the stem, this magnet wire for the Tesla coil, just experimenting. So I don't know what to gauge it. This was pretty thin in the supervision of our kid Lucas. So it's, uh, it's winding up pretty well. This is on my 20 mil PVC pipe at this stage. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'll just show how I do the painstaking hand wiring on this thing. Worked out it's about 20 turns per centimeter on this particular center core for the Tesla transformer. So I've got about 25 centimeters, which equates to 500 turns at this stage. And uh, there's still a bit more to go, so yeah. And uh, have a little break. I'll put a bit of tape on here, hold the wire in place so it doesn't uncoil itself. Okay, I've got the center core completely finished now. The whole thing is uh, 64 centimeters long, which equates to um, 64 times 21 is 1,344 turns. Um, now I may have to look at uh, varnishing it up and uh, yeah, just make it up like that, you know. I've got the varnish out and I'm just uh, applying a coat of uh, varnish over the center coal, the 1344 turns. Man, those bloody g cams are handy. A couple of wires there and a couple of support wires here and uh, yeah, just apply a little bit of uh, paint. A bit hard to do camera at the same time as painting, but um, just you get the idea. It also keeps the windings together so I can take my uh, sticky tapes off. Here's also my uh, 20 capacitor stack, which I uh, rebuilt earlier tonight, this night. So I've got them all nicely in series with the bleeder resistors, the mega ohms, and I uh, made a little spark gap just for protection of the capacitors in case of a surge, so yeah. I've got the center core from the Tesla transformer now completely varnished and uh, let it dry overnight. Well, the Tesla transformer doesn't So here's the ZVS simple setup. So uh, from the positive, for, uh, we get, that goes to the arc puller. Barn wire goes in this particular case through the 2.4 nanofarad 20 kV capacitors. Goes into the coil, the Tesla, and then goes to the white, which goes at the back and comes back to the negative of the uh, flyback. And then the green wire goes back. And it goes to the other side of the arc puller. The arc puller, as shown before in another video, is just a 24 volt motor running at 12 volts. And um, yeah, the stem I made in the beginning of this video 1344 uh, turns. And just at the moment, just to break out wire on top, I'm gonna work on an, uh, a circle on top, but I uh, haven't got the stuff for it yet so. First the tube glows easy. Okay, let's try again. This is the basic schematic I've used, just a standard flyback driven by ZVS 
uh, R gap, what we R gap, uh, the capacitor is R gap just to protect it, and then 11 turns in uh, 1344 turns, and uh, just an uh, exit wire that seemed to work at this stage, so very pleased with it. So this is the RF ground, I just got a uh, bit of earthing wire sitting onto a piece of copper bar just on the ground here and then uh, yeah, then the stem goes So here two layers of varnish on there thanks some advice from high voltage rules and yeah she is all sweet so I'm gonna post this tonight and uh, yeah I'll be working on more expansions of this particular device but yeah I'm learning, this is my first Tesla call and I'm very pleased that it actually works thanks for watching